In this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, gradient maps with your photographies. So I'm going to use this photo here as an example for demonstration. And to add the gradient map just go to layer, new adjustment layer and you'll find the gradient map here at the bottom. You can also uh, add a gradient map on a quicker way. So just like uh, click on this little icon here, there's the uh, shortcut for creating a new fill or adjustment layer. And just choose the gradient map here. Okay. So when you double click over here, you will get the panel and here you'll find a small gradient preview here. Okay, you got a little arrow here. When you click there, you're able to uh, choose some other gradient. And you also got the little uh, gear icon and there you can uh, reset the gradient, slow the gradient, save the gradients, okay, and so on. And uh, here we got the two options that you can check, deter and reverse, and what the deter does, it creates some random noise to smooth out the gradient, and reverse will reverse your gradient. So, uh, uh, I'm just gonna click here uh, uh, to edit the gradient, so click on this uh, gradient preview, and uh, here we got a gradient editor, and what we got here, we got two uh, color stops and uh, this color stop here is determining the color of the shadows okay so and this one here is determining the colors of the highlights uh, and uh, the color of midtones will be this gradation between these two uh, colors okay so uh, when you double click on the color stop you will get the color picker and you can choose any color that you like and uh, You can also change the color just by clicking on this color box here. Okay So the color that you choose here will be applied to shadows This color here will be applied to highlights and this gradation between here will be applied to other uh, tones between highlights and shadows, okay uh, uh, Also uh, you got the location option here, so you can move any of these uh, uh, color stops, okay? So, uh, you can choose the, the range uh, that you wish to be uh, in the to be in these uh, shadows colors, okay? Uh, you can also move this one here, you can also choose the exact location here and what you can do is to click anywhere over here, uh, uh, close this gradation here and add another color stop and you can also change its color. Okay. And uh, how to, to remove the color stop, you can just click and drag into the side or just click this delete button here. Okay, so let's just choose this uh, black and white gradient. So. Uh, what you can do now with the gradient is to change its uh, blending mode. So you can just choose, for example, screen or multiply. Now it depends if you uh, it depends in your photo and uh, and your uh, which colors you got in the gradient and which effects you wish to achieve. So if I just change this color mode to color, I will get a black and white photo. Okay. Uh, you can also change it to soft light, for example and then play with this opacity. So just click on the word opacity and drag it aside or click on this little arrow and move this cursor here and you will add a contrast to your photo. Okay. Or you can also let's add another gradient so you can use more than one of gradients of course. I just click here and uh, to explain you just one more, the reverse option will uh, uh, change the, the shadow colors become the color of the highlights and the highlights color become the color of the shadows. So you'll find some of the default uh, gradient uh, here that came with Photoshop. So let's just choose this one. And uh, also what you can change here is you find this uh, little uh, color midpoint, okay? And when you move he that midpoint, you'll actually uh, change the blending uh, where this color will blend uh, with this one. Okay, so just gonna leave it to in the middle. So uh, let's change the color mode of this one layer. Let's change it to screen and then just have a lower the opacity a little bit. Okay, just like this. 
okay you can see the difference so with the gradient maps you can get some great coloring to your photo uh, very quick so and of course you can use more than one uh, gradients okay so you can just add another with a different color mode and then just uh, play with the opacity so you can blend them uh, as you like and you can always change here the the blending mode and then double click over here and then change to some other gradient okay you can uh, uh, immediately see the preview here okay so let's do this one and here you can see the before and after okay so I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching